Well, guys, here we have someone, I guess, that's going to be buying my bow for 12.1, I believe. I don't know. Yeah, 12.1 mil. See, like, I like to be scary. Like, you know, I tell her, boo, here's my dick. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, anyways, there's, okay. So there's 78 crafting. Um, if you guys know what line, what, what movie that line is from, I want you guys to comment below because that's the, it's the movie I told you guys I was watching a little while ago. Um, I've watched it a few extra times. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Here we go. 60, nothing at level 64 herb. It's just, it's just 64. What the hell? All right, let me just double check this. Herb lore, what comes next? 65, super defense. So, okay, 66, super defense, 65. Sanfu, some shit. Uh, 69 is anti-fires. 72 is range pots. That's not bad. Magic potions, brews, and super strong anti-poison. All right. How far am I from level, then? And, uh, holy crap, 42k experience to level. That is like 500 peapots. I have exactly, okay, so I'll have enough for 65. Uh, and then I could probably get 66 with the other stuff that I have. So, four levels. And I was like, bitch, please. 65 herb lore. Oh, I can identify Catandine. Cat, whatever the fuck you want to call that. Anyways, I think I got one more level banked in me. Let's go. Oh, this is something I should have done. I saw a very long time ago. But um, how much experience do you get for each one of these? That's it? Like fucking 42? 42 experience. Perfect. That's so shit. There we go. There's our level right there. 62 fletching, adamant brutal arrows. I'm just gonna quickly drop these because I don't want these in my bank. Okay, there we go. Uh, that's my mouse keys. Okay, so back to herblore. It bugs me when I'm like close to a level and I just don't get it because I'm just like, uh, I should probably get that level. And we're going back to crafting. Well, guys, here comes 79 crafting. I think I have one more after that. There we go. 79 crafting. Bl oh shit! I can I can craft black dragon hide. I think 83 is Black Dragon Hand body, so I guess maybe in the future I'll be crafting that. I believe you're supposed to out Black Dragon Hand as well, because I mean, like, I can't really sell like a thousand Black Dehyde bodies. Um, not to mention bodies are probably a lot harder to sell than the Vamps and the uh, the chats. But anyways, um, I actually haven't even logged out yet ever since like level 76 or some shit. So got a lot of experience unlogged. Um, exactly 1,000 Green Dehyde bodies till level 80. So I need to tan about 2,700 hides because I already have about 300. So um, I guess I'll do that later on today. But anyways, um, I'm going to go probably back to Dark Beast for now. And if I do get anything, obviously, I will record it for you guys. Nice fucking DC. No. Oh my, not this fucking shit. No, Jax, you fucking fag. I swear if I got a Dark Book. No. Oh my god. Why do you do this shit? Why is your sh Oh my god. I'm going to lose my fucking fire gate. Yes, please lose connection. Please fucking log out, please. Ah. Jax has got to fix their fucking servers. That is fucking pathetic. If they were to ask us right now, if we were to all pay $2 and they would fix, and then make sure that the servers are good, they'll put them away. Well, make sure they're good, because obviously they can fucking fix it. Uh, would you guys pay that $2? I want to see that. I'd be kind of, maybe they'll actually fucking do it. Oh shit, Dark Bow. Damn, that's hot. Damn. Man, that feeling when you get a dark bow, it's just like, ah, that gorgeous thing on the ground. So I, I went and got a new Slayer Tass, and I got got 14 Dark Beast. Anyways, guys, I've got to say, I think I'm going to be stopping to camp these beasts. Dark bows have crashed to, like, around 9 or, like, 10 mil now, basically. And um, I feel like getting a dark bow costs sometimes, like, up to 2 mil plus because of the cannonballs. Um, it costs at least 1 mil, maybe 2 with the supplies of everything else. Um, it gets to be kind of quite pricey just to make like that extra like six to eight mil. Oh fuck! I mean, yeah, six to eight mil profit's still a lot, but the fact that you got to camp it all day long, I feel like I can make quite a bit just from doing Slayer. So I mean, like, I'm just gonna do that, I guess. Um, I brought this helm just because I'm gonna probably camp them until my pea pots are out. But yeah, I think I've camped them enough for now. I think I have a bank that's pretty valuable to me for now and will last me a very long time for doing things like Slayer. Um, I'm pretty sure I can easily afford 99 Slayer now without having to worry too much about the drops. Um, so I guess I'll just make me, I'll just be making pure profit basically. But yeah, next clip will probably be doing Slayer. So I'll see you guys then after this task and I'll probably just camp them out of this thing. And get, oh, good shark. Give me shark. Give me shark. Give me shark. There we go. Stop making me faggot. All right. I'll see you guys in the next clip with Slayer. G mall drop. Anyways. Ah, so anyways, we are back to Slayer, as you guys can see. Uh, I 
figured I'd probably just go for 99 now. I want to have 99 Slayer Cape before I do anything else. Um, I probably decided after Slayer I will be doing, uh, basically getting max total, I guess. I'll do my best for that. Um, it'll take a very long time, obviously, so I mean, I don't think I'll be doing anything else for quite a while, any type of Slayer. Um, and then once I max out, I guess I'll go back to Slayer, possibly. Unless EOC has some type of good updates, and maybe I'll go back to that. Anyways, I also got some Addy Boots, and I, I never, uh, I now remember why Addy Boots were actually kind of, I mean, they're not really that expensive on this game right now, but I remember why they want, like, they, they want to hit, I think, around 40k on, like, the live game right now, like, way back in the day before, like, uh, this is back when Climbing Boots got their update, where they became, like, 65k or some shit, and, like, 45k out price. Um, it's kind of funny, because everyone out them at 45k, and, like, freaking, like, three months later, everyone's buying them at the store again for, like, 65k, so, but anyways, um, so, yeah, that's why these boots went up so much, I think, I think they're one strength bonus, and, like, a lot of defense, I'm not exactly too sure, um, obviously, rune is better, but these are, like, one strength bonus, and, uh, 47, I, I, I can hit a 48, but I haven't seen one in a while, um, what was I gonna say, so, yeah, these boots, I, I remember Pete King with them way back in the day, uh, because I was too cheap for room boots because they were like 150k or 200k so I was like okay I'll rather just use Addy boots so you know it's only one strength bonus. There's a lot of people have been asking me why some items on 07 are actually very cheap and it's just a very simple fact guys. Um, I know a lot of people are telling me like sharks in this game are about like 300 each or so like the raw sharks and cooked I think is around 450 or 400 ish. You actually profit off cooking it's kind of odd but anyways um, there's a simple explanation for that guys. This got another granite mall. Anyway, so simple explanation. What what it is is um, obviously one. As I know, still around the prices are around here. I think it's one GP equals thirty GP in EOC. I you know seven compared to EOC. So three hundred GP actually equals I think nine K. So basically, raw sharks are worth nine K each if you transfer it from O seven to EOC, which is why they're only three hundred each. So yeah, it's just a simple type of idea. I mean, bots, obviously, like, what kind of bot's going to go fish rock tails on EOC when you can get the same amount of rock tails an hour or whatever um, if you are just on 07 and you can also collect yourself 9K per shark. So that is why things like that will stay a very low price. That is why 07 will ever have botters. Um, hopefully, Jax does something about it, obviously, but, I mean, I, I don't really see them doing too much about I mean, they have, actually. They got rid of a lot of nature and botters, I believe, and stuff like that. Uh, which hopefully they keep doing because it's obviously helping out the game a lot more and it's going to make it last longer but um, for the fact that you know obviously you know one shark is 9k on EOC why would a botter choose EOC over 07 for botting right that's that's the reason why a lot of botters have left EOC people think it's like Jax doing bot nukes and stuff which they are they have done some bot nukes I've seen myself go up in ranks and like Hunter but the only reason there's no botters is because they all left for 07 for now once prices get kind of more stable in the same uh, profit per hour they'll be rotating between EOC and that but yeah so I basically I don't think sharks raw sharks will ever uh, honestly go past 300 at this point unless they get rid of all the botters for it um because there's just no point of fishing rock tails on EOC I mean I can see EOC rock tails going to 5k and no one would go and fish them maybe legit players might go fishing but botters would not even bother fishing them because it's still not worth it for them so it's kind of sad, but I mean, that is the truth. That is why some items will always stay very cheap on this game. Uh, I'm guessing snake grass will probably stay cheap because a lot of botters collect snake grass. It's worth 30 times more on this game. So, I mean, until that number gets a lot closer, like, I don't know, like one mil here is worth like five mil on EOC, then uh, maybe uh, things might kind of be stable. But I mean, I don't really know. Until, until that becomes a closer ratio, then I guess botters might go back to EOC depending on uh, what money-making methods there are. But yeah, there's not much we can do about botters. It's kind of more up to Jags if they decide to ban them or not. I mean, I mean, we're paying our fee. We're playing our game properly. The best you can hope for, I guess, is for Jags to do their part. I remember when they actually did their first bot nuke ever. I think on like it was before EOC update, but the live game. Stop fucking dancing. Yeah, let's watch. Oh, you finally fucking attacked it, you bitch. But yeah, their first bot nuke they ever did, I believe, was I don't know, a few. It was like their first Rune Fest, whatever it was. And I remember seeing the players go from like a hundred thousand to like thirty thousand the first day. Like it was crazy. That that game was filled with way more botters ever than uh, legit players, which is really sad when you think about it. But yeah, anyways, I think I'm gonna wrap this. Ooh, I just hit a 44 and a 45. That's pretty sexy. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up for now, guys. Hopefully, um, you guys enjoyed. I guess a little bit of Dark Beast and a little bit of this in the video and some crafting. I believe I forget what I did at the start of the clip. This is a totally different day for me now. I went to bed like 3 thinking that I'd get it like a freaking dark bow, but nope. But yeah, I guess 12 hours was the driest I was without a dark bow, and I think I'm about 5 hours dry now, and I just left. I probably should have waited until I got one more dark bow. Maybe I'll go back, but they keep crashing as like each day passes, so it's not really worth it. I'm guessing once they reach like 3 or 4 mil, uh, people will stop camping them as well. I don't think they'll reach that for quite a while, though, but 
Um, I believe whips are like 3.5 now, four mil around there, um, which is still pretty high, I think. I mean, that's kind of crazy high how valuable they still are when there's like 200 people every day that are able to camp them. Anyways, I'm going to wrap the video up there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next video. And give it a big dick like on my ad comment. Add Adamant Boots if you watched the whole video.